what up y'all it's kiana renee back with another video now this video i'm showing y'all my transformation so right here you got me smoking a lot of weed around this time i i was addicted to smoking weed since 2016 the beginning of 2016 and i just want to show y'all and tell y'all a little about myself i'm from phoenix arizona born and raised i love playing basketball and back at home i really fell into addiction I fell into the trap of comparing myself to other people. And even though I had dreams and ambitions, it got lost. It got lost by fear. And so that's why I'm sharing this video of a whole transformation just in a year. And this is a little bit before. I want to say this is in, was in 2022 when my mom passed away. And so I was working out. Still smoking a lot of weed. I was still smoking a lot of weed, working out, and just trying to get right, just trying to work on my fitness. And so I was always funny, goofy, and just loving to be there for people. I realized that my passion for people has grown into being a part of a ministry now. And we all have to grow. And so Let's get it. So just to share about what I was doing at the time. I was working job, job. And I was also a club promoter. So I was out yeah, drinking time. pretty much savage Monday through time. Sunday savage on my days off. You Sometimes I would is. be at the club savage as well. Time. And this was just right before I ended up moving to Texas. This is life. 2020, we had the world shut down. AZ bound. Didn't let the opinions of others tear us down. I thought of you as a friend. But friends don't do the things we did. Had you thinking it was love. I was playing pretend. Drowning in sin. My flesh was weak. Wasn't listening. In this life. I was struggling with deep depression, anxiety, not knowing what I wanted to do, not knowing where I wanted to to be at the time. Even though I always was doing music, I ended up falling in addiction to partying all the time and thinking that I would come up through being in the club, which was a big mistake. And so all that to say, I learned from my lessons and I learned through trial and tribulation that this is a part of my testimony but it's not who I am now and just to look back at these videos and me smoking a lot of weed and me also you know being outside all the time it really just showed that you know people can change people can grow and that's exactly what I did and I was working at the dispensary right before working in the club and I just change like God was tugging at my heart now when I look back God was tugging at my heart day by day and it just wasn't just right away God was giving me grace giving me mercy and working day by day to change and also to grow from who I once was like I remember this day I was with my friend and I was just sad I didn't know how my family was gonna be I didn't know what was going to happen with with my family with my career with my even health i was smoking weed not even understanding that my weed smoking had me have this horrible horrible cough and i wasn't even thinking that it was because of <laughs> weed i thought it was just because i was getting sick and so with that it was a spiritual battle that I had to overcome and face with addiction. And so now I could say I'm a year sober. I'm over a year sober now, actually. And it's a blessing from God and I couldn't do it with, without God. And so those of you that are struggling with addiction, you don't gotta keep smoking. You don't gotta keep doing the same thing over and over again. And thinking that it's going to help because it, it makes things worse, honestly. 
So like I was saying, those of you that are struggling with addiction, you can find a way out. And with that, you are not alone. It's hard to unlearn what you've grown a major habit with but it's possible if i can do it you can do it and it starts with just not making excuses for yourself because for the longest time i was making excuses for myself i was making excuses for my trauma i was making excuses for my reasoning on why i'm smoking and how it's a good thing to do and how it it doesn't hurt anybody but it really hurt me and the people around me and sometimes you don't realize until it's too late when something bad happens. And so I would Other still times, perform you places, realize, but I wasn't and you as see where you're at. And that's exactly I what I was now. with smoking. And weed. so this is just a clip of me. I realized the club. that I was using it as an emotional crutch. And I realized I needed to dig deeper into my traumas and understand why I do what I do and how I feel. And where is it all coming from? Okay, watch that. <laughs> hey, that's my dog. Right here, I was outside of this club called Charlie's. And so I decided to record just a quick cover. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. And now I'm trying to get by. Before the cool run down on the Navi, giving it my bestest. And nothing's gonna stop me. And if I'm an invention, I recommend again my time. So Right here after I got done finishing my song, people pulled up and y'all, it, it was hilarious. Y'all gonna see, I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but watch this. Yeah, it was a funny time. I am not trying to get copyrighted, but as you could hear, we we getting crunk the soldier boy outside of the club. <laughs> oh, and so yeah, we were just dancing, turn up. These are people I don't even know, but we were lit. We were outside, and we headed up, headed up back in the club. Four man rush, quick pass drop. Oh. Take time. Oh, what I'm doing. Oh, 
I'm going to be performing uh, the Cure Love Song cover. I hope you guys like it. So these are just clips of showing y'all of what I was doing when I was in Arizona. Now that I'm in Texas, I'm fully sober. So looking back at this, it just cracks me up because I'd be making myself laugh. And then here I am enjoying a nice mango. It was pretty good, too. I don't even remember this day, but as you could tell, I'm showing y'all. Yum. Mango. Yum. Delicioso. I still love mangoes, man. I still love mangoes. Munch. I need to get my hair braided again. And my eyebrows threaded. I haven't done that in a while. I've grown out my hair. No more low fades. But, yeah, I'll just, I'll just be outside. I was just outside with it. Now it's a completely different turn. Now I'm inside most of the time, church, working out, but definitely going to give y'all more videos of me being out, more vlogs, and just showing y'all Texas. Hey, I'm cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm so cool. Oh, oh. No, no, no. No haters here. Oh, yeah. So cool, yeah, yeah, so cool. Look at me, so cool, so cool, yeah, so cool, so cool. Got the red shades on, got the nice braids, yeah, 
yeah, what you know about that? Oh, uh, you know what it is. Oh, you know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is. Oh, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but yeah, those of you that are new to the channel, if you don't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. Let me know if you want more videos like this doing voiceovers let me know if you want me to do more voiceovers and i got a new single coming out for y'all part two new song coming out this week all right i hope y'all are ready it's all right raining out here in az what the heck hey, az though it really happens you feel me i love the rain yeah this AZ rain baby here where hey. you from also comment below the struggles that you faced what you over have overcome this year already we're almost leaning towards the end of this year comment below what you've overcome this year and i'm gonna make sure to send y'all some money i'll send y'all ten dollars all right comment below and put your cash app in in the description or in the in you know what to do comment below i'm gonna send you some love all right comment below because i know it's rough but just know that you're not alone. And when you have somebody that you can talk to, and sometimes that's God himself, let them know how you're doing. Let them know how you're feeling. And to send somebody to, to be a, a best friend to you, and God's going to deliver. So you already know. And also... Y'all, with drinking and smoking, it's a lot of money. Like, you just wasting the money at this point. With all that drinking, all that smoking, it's going to catch up. And it's all a bill at the end of the day. It's a bill. It's a heavy bill if you're smoking heavy. If you're drinking heavy, going to the club every night. Like, we could be catching flights and we over here smoking. Like, no. It's all fun and games until your dreams don't come true. So, remember, y'all. I'm showing this as a testimony that, yeah, you know, I was addicted to smoking weed and I thought I was having a blast. And you know what? I was having a blast at one point, but it comes to a certain point where it's just, it's not worth it. And you get tired of it. You get tired of being sick and tired because you know you're not supposed to be smoking. And y'all do it as a test. Stop smoking for a couple of days, even push it to a couple of weeks. And you'll see who your true friends are. I remember there was one time where I stopped smoking. And just because I didn't smoke, people stopped talking to me. Or they didn't want to hang out with me because I, I didn't want to smoke. So you're going to be shown true colors. People are going to show you their true colors when you stop doing the same things that they do. Because sometimes people, they want to see you succeed, but don't want to don't want you to be better than them don't want you to grow past them or surpass them so just be careful out here we got to watch out who our haters are right here this is me on my way to texas literally driving 17 hours and just stop doing a pit stop i think i really had to be at this point and so this right and here i was just is praying Right here, getting a text. The B roll of me headed and to over here. I had my little get baby my dog friend's car bigger now, to go ahead and take it my to Texas. Baby dog with me to a new state, and it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to start new and end up making it. Yay! Ended up making it here. I was doing a little partying. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie to y'all. When I first got to Texas, I. I was scoping out the club scene just because I, I just came from the club. So just scoping it out, had a few drinks, and just vibing out. I think this is downtown. This is downtown club. But I did not care. I was lit. Then I ended up in Deep Ellum from a recommendation because someone told me that the club scene and the music scene is very out there. So I ended up bringing my guitar, singing out there, performing, and just, you know, showing off my skills and letting people know that I got a YouTube channel to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And 
yeah so i was just enjoying the sceneries the different views the different people and i gotta say arizona gotta step up their their game with the hospitality because that southern hospitality out here is tremendously great people are wonderful out here and so y'all come on now so i ended up in texas safe and sound i did end up having to deal with a lot of trials and tribulations though still if you're gonna if you're gonna stay i just gotta i just gotta know i can't have it i can't have it any other way i swear she's destined for the screen closest thing to michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen no lady running down to the river tide taking my way to the dark side i want to be your left hand man I got my appendix taken out literally the first couple of weeks of being in Texas, which was awful, but I ended up making it through. I ended up getting blessed by people to pray for me because I was very scared, but it all worked out. I ended up being healed in Jesus' name, and now I'm fully recovered. Hallelujah. Now, this is when I was working at Home Depot, just sending a message to my sister, telling her how much I appreciate her. Appreciate your siblings, y'all. They need to be shown love whenever you can. We were little, really so tiny. Thank you for being a smart little baby, and thank you for always being kind, because even though we're only, what, a year and some months apart, you still my baby sister, and I'm gonna always see you as my little baby sister. This is me holding you like a little baby. I love you so much. Okay? I can't kiss you in real life yet, but just know them smooches is coming, okay? And I love you very much. Stay diligent, stay kind, and treat yourself right. You're worthy, you're beautiful, you're accepted, and you are one of a kind. There's only one Kalia Mary, and I'm grateful to call you my sister, and I'm grateful that I have you as a sister, and I love you very much, okay? Everything that you ever experienced and endured was for a reason. There's a reason for the season. So just know that wherever you're at right now, mentally, physically, spiritually, this too shall pass. And just know you got to listen. You got to open your ears because you're very smart. You're very kind. And just know some people, they're just not meant to be in your season right now. I love you very much. And we got to follow our own advice. Okay, I love you. Stay up. I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, after I... I got healed. I ended up having to move suddenly, so I've been jumping city to city, and now I'm finally in a in a foundational ground where I'm building up to get my own place and my own vehicle, and that's why I need y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, come on now. We can level up together. Financial freedom here in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen in the comments? But yeah, this is when I was started going to church often and just seeking out the Lord, seeking out the Lord every day and just feeling better about myself. And that's why I say y'all seek, seek God, seek Jesus, because he's going to put a glow on you. People are going to be like, oh, what face scrub do you use? Oh, it's the Holy Ghost fire. I don't use no face scrub. I just wash my face with water. I'm blessed, highly favored, blessed, highly favored. And that's what happens. People be asking me, Howard they probably think I'm lying, but I really don't use any face scrub. It's so probably like this Howard, like body wash well, scrub and I just use it on my God. face. But me and Simba, um, we were outside with it, spreading the word, had my poster board. We were just getting things in order in the bathroom. Had to go pee because when I'm outside, y'all, I need to run to the restroom. But yeah, just showing people like love and that through music, I feel like it's very healing. And that's why it's so important for musicians to know who God is, know who Jesus is. Because with music, it can really deliver people from darkness. And the devil, his days are up. He don't control this earth. He didn't create all this. He created us. He created this earth. God did. So God can do it again and again and again.
So those of you that believe in prayer, pray for the music industry, pray for deliverance, and eat some pickles, y'all. Eat some pickles and drink some pickle juice. It's good for you. All right, get your munch on, get your crunch on. All right, I just do regular pickles. I don't do them sweet pickles. But, man, this is making me want to drink another batch of pickle juice. I'm going to have to do that after this video, after I post it to y'all. But, y'all, it's been a mission. And I'm still going through trials and tribulations. So, I hope y'all pray for me, y'all. Pray for me that things will turn around for the greater good. Not today. I mean, not. I rebuke that. Not tomorrow, but today and for the rest of my days because you know with this music it's not easy and with following your dreams when everybody ridicules you it's it's hard but i'm focusing on the positive and the people that that message and that comment below every video that i pretty much create shout out to simon i'm gonna put his link right here put his username right here thank you simon for showing me love man i don't know you but i appreciate you all right so y'all i got a lot of things in store for y'all got better content gonna get a camera soon a new camera gonna go ahead and post a new snippet of my single set free and merch merch is here y'all merch has been here y'all i'm gonna need y'all to go stock up on some merch and remember when you look good you feel good all right go outside go for a walk enjoy the sun sun drink ice glowing skin praise the lord drink more water and just stay dedicated y'all stay dedicated all you deserve it if it's being an, an architect being a painter being a, a nutritionist, being a doctor, being a singer, being a rapper, being an entrepreneur, whatever it is, y'all can do it. I believe in y'all. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all to subscribe, but I see y'all watching. All right. I see y'all watching. So y'all better subscribe to the video in the link in the description. I'm going to put the merch and I'm going to put my new single down below for y'all to download on my website and yeah comment below what other videos you like me to do if you like, want me to do a mukbang with simba if you want me to do more cover songs you want me to do more remixes to songs let me know because i got a special treat for y'all all right so make sure to cop the merch make sure to like and subscribe and share with your brother your sister your auntie your uncle your cousin your grandma and just know that you are not alone all right don't give up never give up and love your animals okay they're only here for a certain amount of time and we gotta love them as simba is barking and trying to get the squirrel out here we gotta love them they're only here for a certain amount of time and y'all i just want to finish this out in prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for every person that comes across this video. Lord Jesus, I pray that the Holy Ghost fire ignite their mind, body, soul, and spirit. They are blessed in all, all the ways, Lord Jesus. They have the fruits of the Spirit, Lord Jesus, and that they are covered by God, Lord Jesus, that they have the full armor of God upon them, Lord, and that nothing, Lord Jesus, no principality can stop their destiny, Lord Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus over each, each person and each individual that they're connected to i speak the blood of jesus upon them now in jesus mighty name amen all right y'all see y'all later god bless you step into what i do i let go and let god in. so sovereign standing on my rock i'm all in that's why in this life we're living what's the meaning You already know, let's get it.